Hey, what's up, guys? You're watching Stacks on the Rise. Welcome again to my channel. If you like videos about silver and gold, please give this video a thumbs up. I have plenty of great videos in the works, so be sure to subscribe and hit that bell for notifications. Today's video is about goals and personal preferences when it comes to stacking. I mean, it's important to have goals and to set financial goals for yourself. It takes discipline. So what are your goals? My goals won't be your goals or the same as the next person's. Everybody has different intentions and motives for stacking. I mean, I get a lot of questions from people asking if a certain thing that they're doing while stacking is just a waste of time, but it's not for me to say. It depends on what your goals are and what's your personal preferences. Some people like to keep track of the appreciation on each individual purchase. They'll write down the date and the price they paid on a, on a sticky note or they'll jot it down in a notebook and keep track of it over time. Some people absolutely will not handle their silver without gloves. They'll meticulously encapsulate each coin just to make sure they don't get damaged. I've heard of people keeping their silver in the freezer to prevent milk spots. Some people will only stack constitutional silver, while others only stack three nines fine or higher. Some people will only stack coins or rounds, and some people will only stack 10-ounce bars. Some of these things just come down to personal preference, but ultimately it does come down to what your goals. And it's not for me or anyone else to dictate. I mean, what's the purpose of your gold and silver? Is it for your own financial gain, like an investment? Is it speculative? Is it savings? Are you looking for something to pass down to your kids? I mean, do you have an amount of ounces that you're looking to meet for the year? For, or for your retirement. I personally like to stack, as far as silver goes, one ounce silver coins and rounds. I like to pick up 10 ounce silver bars. And as far as gold, any gold. I like one ounce pieces of gold, but recently started myself on a schedule to pick up a quarter ounce piece every month. I mean, this way sticking with the base goal of a quarter ounce a month in gold, and I like to pick up 20 ounces of silver a month. That's a base of three ounces of gold and 300 ounces of silver a year. I mean, some people, that might not work for them. Some might want the gold of their country, and in America, that's gold eagles. And some people might want the silver of their country, that's silver eagles. I mean, they're higher premium, but they retain a lot of the premium on their sale as well. I mean, I'll take them, but I have no preference to what kind of gold or silver I have, as long as it's investment grade. But that's because my long-term goals, by the time I go to sell, if I ever sell, I feel spot price will be sufficient. So being I'm not looking to get back any premiums, I'm not try trying to spend too much money. Um, I'm trying to build security and transgenerational wealth for my family. You see, my financial gain is through my job. And on the side, I'd like to trade equities via day trades and swing trades. And with the profits, I like to buy assets, so I'll buy silver and gold. And I've been working to develop multiple streams of income so that I'm not just solely reliant on one, but my goals are to copy, you know, essentially copy the rich. I mean, I want to trade equities and buy assets and start businesses and with the intention to pass it all to my children. So long-term fundamentals and analytics look good for gold and silver, Prices will be higher in the future, so that's my long-term goal, is to pass it along. And it's no one else's place to tell you if what you're doing is right or wrong. It's your gold and it's your silver. No one can tell you what your goals should be. That's for you to decide. I mean, that's the part of the freedom of stacking in the first place. It's yours. I mean, the important thing is the stacking. Stick to your goals or stick to your preferences, and I'll stick with mine. But be sure to share your thoughts and comments and goals in the comments. As always, eyes on the prize. Stacks on the rise. Keep stacking, my friends.